Are you planning to move to Greenville, North Carolina? Today we wanted to break down all the timeline that you need to move from where you are into Greenville to get to your house. Now Greenville isn't like a, a cold place to where like if I was talking about I lived in Minnesota and I was doing a video about Minnesota, um, I would say that you would probably move in the spring and summer because it's warm. Even then. Denver, no? Um, yeah, but, but you're not really moving when it's really cold, but we don't really have that issue here. So I just want to throw that out there now. We have mild, mild weather. And so we do have incoming all the time. So don't feel like you're missing out on something for that reason. We have mild, mild winters. Now with that, but the thing we need to talk about is you have to make sure that your timing and your real estate market is crucial because we are different in North Carolina than other states. So exactly. I do want to start with that and why we are different and then we're going to talk into timing. Exactly. One of the things that you need to really understand about real estate rules in North Carolina is due diligence. And in most of the state, in 50 states, most of them, I'm not sure about all of the 49 rest of the states, they have money called earnest money. but. In North Carolina, we have something called due diligence. What is the due diligence? Due diligence is generally a the right to inspect the property. This is money given to the seller right away upon acceptance of the contract, not before acceptance of the contract. Um, it is generally non-refundable, generally. So if you back out of the deal or you change your mind on any homes in our area, you that money is staying with the seller. You do not get it back. So you have to make sure that you are clear on that. So we have to make sure that you are finding the perfect house, which we help people all the time do. So you just have to be aware that, you know, you're putting money down on a house because it's what you truly want. Exactly. Therefore, this money actually is upon the signing the seller, your offer. You don't owe that money before that. And also remember, doesn't matter what is your reason is, is family, emergency, inspection, whatever it is, you cannot get the money back when you gave it to them. Generally speaking. Generally speaking. Okay, so now let's talk about timing and the moves a little bit more. So I know we talked scary about the due diligence fee because I want to make sure when someone's watching this, you know why we're different. But Greenville, one of the things I love it is like I told you already, it's mild winters. We got we get typically one day of snow a year. We've not had that in two years now. Um, three years. Three, three years. years. We haven't had it in three years. Um, we don't typically go under freeze like for very long. If we do, so you can move comfortably almost any time of the year here. So if you're outside with shorts and you're carrying your stuff in, you're going to be okay even in January because you're carrying heavy stuff so you're going to be lugging things. But it's not just the weather. We also look at your work schedule, your work schedule, your family commitments. Those are the things that you're going to have to look at to time it correctly. Now, if you're like juggling your, your schedule and your career, you want to find a time where it is less scheduled. For instance, if you're an accountant and you're not going to move in April because that's tax season. So just to give you examples. So families typically like to move a little bit more in spring and summer, which means that if is you have a little kids. if you, families, yeah. Um, because of the academic year, but because Greenville is a nice, excellent location, again, people come here all the time. Exactly. Now, before we talk about why renting is better than bu why buying is better than renting, eh, uh, we're gonna do our introduction and we'll talk more about planning the move in and tell. Exactly. So let's do it. Let's hit it. Hi, it's Alvatore. Welcome to our channel and podcast. And if this is your first time in our podcast and YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and get notified. Also, you call text all the time, 252-327-3357. We love talking to you. Don't be shy. Also, grab our buyer's guide and seller's guide in the description below. Now, we wanted to talk about why buying is better than renting in Greenville. Therefore, we do always a housing market update. And every uh, month. months. And basically between Greenville and Winterville, North Carolina, we have the rent something between 1450 to 1600. This is the median for all bedroom rents. And, and uh, you could be paying mortgage for that. You're really exactly. good. Exactly. Therefore, with the median, uh, price that we have actually in both this area which is at time of this video is around two hundred thirty seven thousand dollars you imagine if you are paying sixteen hundred dollars literally with the interest rate that is right now for fha less than a uh, five point eight percent you really can lock in the house for that price that you wanted to pay for rent. And let's talk about it. Rent can cost you more in the long run. So you're building equity when you're buying a home. So you're getting a fixed price. Of course, as I always say, you get a fixed price. The second thing you are building equity, which means that home is going to increase in value, which means your personal wealth is increasing. Rent, you're just paying someone else's home to increase over time. You're building their equity. You're So with interest rates at even where they are and the prices being what they are, it is still a great place to buy, especially in Greenville. Exactly. Uh, did no, you talk about tax benefits? You're, you're on stability. 
Exactly. The for stability, um, as as you know, the rent actually increases unpredictably. And but if you lock into your interest rate with the mortgage, for example, with the FHA conventional VA, whatever loan product as, if you look locked in you have really 30 years long term that you know what is your payment is every month and how you can budget around it to feel safe and comfortable at the same time to be stable the third thing we're going to talk about is tax benefits do you want to talk about taxes no please okay so with taxes you do get a tax benefit for actually owning the home so your mortgage interest and your property taxes are something you can deduct on your taxes so this is actually going to make it a cheaper buy cheaper to buy than rent without even thinking about it what else the next thing that i wanted to talk about customization one of the things I like about i love about home ownership is if i wanted to do anything if i wanted to paint my wall purple no i can do it tomorrow I say that. And I don't need to get the permission. <laughs> I'm just saying an example. No? <laughs> no, we have a really full control over okay. your lawn maintenance, the curb appeal of your house, how you put fl flowers, how you decorate inside of it. Everything that you think about your house that is personal, you have the control over. What is is a long-term investment. Greenville's a growing area. Um, means exactly. that your home is more likely to appreciate over time. People like to be in warmer areas. We're in a warmer area. So it is just something that's making an investment into your future. Now let's go to that timing, which is what we promised at the beginning. Timing, timing, timing. Do you want to talk to me about planning? Exactly. Therefore, we wanted to talk about the planning and logistic to move to uh, North Carolina, specifically Greenville, North Carolina. Once you decided that you move either for job or family or any personal reason, the timing is crucial. As my wife said, Greenville has a really mild climate. We have all the four seasons. Definitely, if you're looking at the temperature and the video that we recorded for that, you can tap into the what we are talking about. But generally, a spring and summer are the best and be, I mean the busiest time yeah. of the year that many people move, especially real estate market. And if you're looking for the option, definitely these are great seasons for house hunting or moving, especially if you have kids, you don't want it to take off your kids from the school and move to another area. But however, if you're in the fall or even winter, if there's less competition out there, which means you have, might have more bargaining to do because someone's moving and you're still coming to a place where you're getting great weather. So no matter what season, it can be a benefit to buy. So another thing to talk about finally is a basic timeline. Exactly. Therefore, if you are in another state, for example, New York, you know that for uh, buying a house or selling the house, it, take, it might take three to four months. But generally speaking, in Greenville, North Carolina, or in North Carolina in general, we have these 30 days, mm -hmm. no? Meaning that if you get pre-approval from your lender, if you have a cash, that's a different scenario. But if you have a pro approval and you want to get the mortgage, usually the mortgage people, they need four weeks or 30 days to close on your loan. And this is gives you a timeline what exactly to make sure that you can plan around it. For example, moving from another state to here and how you need to move different part that we're going to talk about to get to the house that you wanted to start living in it. Right now, I wrote this ideal timeline. Now, of course, we ourselves, when we were decided, well, when we had a job and we needed to move to Greenville, we did not have the luxury of this time. So we just sped everything up. So I'm just giving you, I, I laid it out to have in steps, but really you can speed this up if you need to, because we ourselves did it ourselves. Exactly. So I would say, Eight to you're thinking about a move three months eight two three months out what we're gonna do we're gonna start researching neighborhoods we're making sure you watch out the victoria's all of our our stuff on there we have all out. like a more than 150 subdivision video tour that you can look at and then it. you're making your list of what your needs are and what your budget might be um and you're going to kind of do some research on that without really doing too much you're just doing some research what what's next the next one is between six to eight weeks, as my wife said, a one. I, ideal. <laughs> a one and a half to two months. Basically, we get uh, um, basically serious to narrow down all of your choices and a schedule viewing. Yeah, you know, we're gonna you can do it. Uh, virtual tour, for example. Mm -hmm. This is actually how we bought so far with my wife, all of the houses that we <laughs> owned. And this also time, this is like declutter, prepare your current home. If you are selling it, if you are renting it, 
uh, that's another scenario but if you wanted to sell and this is also the time that you need to declutter and prepare your home to sell right so basically it's trip planning mode the next one four to six weeks we have really narrowed in on a house and this is you've decided this is the one we want to buy we've made sure that pre-approval is amazing um, and then we go into contract for the house that you want and we're going to work on due diligence and we're gonna start talking about when to do that inspection and all that fun stuff exactly at the same time talking to your lender to do the appraisal and then run the paperwork for you and do the underwriting for your loan two to two four which is weeks, when we're under contract exactly two to four weeks before your move really is the time that you need to finalize your mortgage and book your movers that we st we are still have another video about that the moving part and also you're making sure you're giving your lender everything they need you're also making sure that we've gone through the inspection process so that is an emotional time because maybe there is something that the sellers don't even know that's happening which happened to one of our houses that we were selling was there was a plumbing leak but we didn't even know what the plumbing leak because we would have fixed it but we didn't even know so i mean what can you say so because it was a very small leak and then last one is one week before your move packing your essential, confirming your moving details and notifying utility company that you're gonna get the new address, address change, that you don't move to the house without having water, gas, or electric. Okay, so now that we've talked all about timeline, and yes, you can speed all that up, we just wanna make sure that we do these videos to make sure that you stay fully informed and you are fully comfortable with your decision-making process because buying a home is a big, Deal. It's typically the biggest purchase of your entire life. So we want to make sure that we're here to answer all questions for you. Of course, we negotiate with sellers for you if you're a buyer. Of course, if you're the seller, we're going to negotiate with the buyers. We're going to help everybody through the whole inspection process. And we're going to make sure that you are finding the phone thing. So don't let your fear interrupt. Exactly. The push you move toward again back to the renting in the new place because Greenville is an affordable place to live in. And don't forget to watch all of our videos, our playlist that we have a complete guideline for you for home buying, home selling, or moving to Greenville, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And also, don't forget to call us, Alan Victoria Pinder, real estate agent professional in Greenville at 252-327-3357. And push that subscribe button, please, and leave us a comment to support our channel. We love to connect with you. See you next time.